blow that. Now, here's another thing. Do you know what colleges are doing to you? They're messing with your mind. They are padding the grades and raising GPAs or grade point averages to make it appear you or your child is doing better, even though they aren't. Colleges want you to think they're doing better to justify their constant tuition hikes. Now, this is all according to gradeinflation.com. The average grade point average in 1983 was 2.8. The average grade point average in 2013, 3.1. How did this happen? <laughs> All right, Because they systematically raised the grade points to make things look better. And private schools, and you can read that as the most expensive, are some of the worst. One school's Cumulative GPA for graduating seniors was 2.84 in 1983. In 2014, it was 3.4. How does that happen? It didn't happen for real. It happened because they manipulated the figures. The New York Times reported 43% of all letter grades are A's. Only 10% are D's and F's. Now, here's the thing. Kids know less but are being told through grades that they know more. I mean, what's happening is, if you really look at it, more kids are failing, but nobody is failing. I mean, colleges barely teach, but every year they increase their fees. Now, according to Mark Roosevelt, who's the president of St. John's College, at best, only about 20% of college grads even work in a field they majored in. Now, there are many books written about the dubious value of the standard college degree. This is uh, one called College Unbound. It says the student loan debt is surpassing the $1 trillion mark 